Hey guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. If it's your first time here, my name is Anne and if you have been here already, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to show you my current favorite eye look, which is just my go-to eye look whenever I go to an event or have a special occasion. It's super bronzy and it will look good on any eye color. So yeah, we're gonna start right now. The first thing I'm gonna do is prime my eyelids. I'm using the MAC Cosmetics Paint Pot in the color Soft Ochre. And to apply this, I'm taking a Sigma Beauty P84 brush. Now in today's video, I'm gonna play with the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe Volume Number no. 1 palette. Um, since a lot of people have this palette, I thought it would be nice to use this one. And at the same time it's actually also my go-to palette so whenever I get ready I always grab this palette because it has so many neutral shades and I'm really into neutral so yeah it's kind of my go-to and you can see I hit pen on a lot of shades this kind of shows that I really like this palette um, I know it looks a little bit dirty because I have been using it so many times but at the same time I feel like this is just the reality you know when you use a palette so often it's gonna look a little bit messy so I feel like I have to show you guys how it really goes so yeah <laughs> but yeah I'm starting with this next color blending it all the way in my crease going from the inner corner to the outer corner this is like a really beautiful kind of yellowy mustardy brown shade it's really beautiful and I really like how it looks on my skin complexion so I just keep blending it also blending it up a bit higher towards my eyebrow I kind of wanted to create like a blown out look I feel like this gives a really beautiful effect and then now next I'm gonna take this yellow color which has kind of the same undertone as the previous shade but obviously it's a lot more yellow and just decided to blend a little bit of this color in my crease area as well it's not going to kind of darken up what we already have going on but just kind of change the current color to make it look even more yellow now I'm gonna take this orangey brown color using a Sigma Beauty E25 brush and kind of pressing this in the outer V and blending it also in the outer V. And then with whatever is left, I'm going to blend it a little bit more in the crease area and also towards the inner corner of the eye. I really love the combination of the more yellow brown colors in combination with the orange shade. I just feel like it looks so beautiful for summer also for spring and i've been using this combination of color so many times and yeah just let me know if you're gonna try out this eye look i think it will look amazing on so many different eye colors skin complexions um, i think it's just a really nice look for every day or even for like an event if i go to like a beauty event and i want to look as good as possible this is the eye look that i would go for just because it's not too much but at the same time it still looks really glam and i know it will complement my eyes so it's kind of like my safe look um whenever i don't know what look to go for this is just the look i go for because i know it never fills me i always like it so now i went in with this bronzy golden shade uh, first i used the brush but then i switched to my fingers because let's just be real using your fingers for this is just the best way it just gives the most color payoff so applying it all over the eyelid and it also has kind of the same undertone as the colors i use in the crease so it really goes well together and then now i'm taking this liquid eyeshadow from stila cosmetics i will put the name of the shades i used in the description bar i believe this one was called dollish um, it also has the same undertone so i thought it would be perfect for this eye look if you don't have this product um, you can just leave it for what it was with only the bronzy eyeshadow um, but this is obviously like you can see gonna make it look way more shiny and metallic now if you don't have it but you still want to get that same metallic finish you can also use a little bit of setting spray and use that bronzy eye color which i previously used from the jaclyn hill palette and this is also gonna give it a bit more shine now I'm gonna go in with some gel eyeliner. I'm taking the E75 brush from Sigma Beauty and I'm gonna start with creating a line above the lash line. This is always what I do first when I do create a winged liner. I first always create a line above the lash line and then when I have done that at both eyes, then I focus on the wink liner. I'm going to show you as much as possible from the process because a lot of you always ask me to do a like dedicated wink liner look video. But I thought, let me just show as much as possible in today's video so you can see how I do it. Also, I have done separate videos. Sometimes I do more of a bold wing liner, like with a more longer tail. And sometimes I do more of a 
shorter tail which i prefer for a daily look so today i'm gonna do like the more tinier winged liner if that makes sense so i'm not gonna drag it like all the way towards the end of my eyebrow um, i'm trying to kind of like create a really cute small wing liner So now I'm done with the winged liner and I'm going in with some concealer. This is going to clean up all the eyeshadow which is underneath the winged liner. Which I don't want there to be because it just makes the whole eye look look really messy. So I just took a bit of concealer with a concealer brush and I'm applying it straight underneath the winged liner that I created. And then blending it in with my finger. Now I'm going in with this orangey brown color again using a flat definer brush from Sigma Beauty which is the E15. And I'm going to apply this shade right underneath the lower lash line. Now next I'm gonna take that mustardy brown shade again and also a little bit of the yellowy color <laughs> blending both of these shades together and I'm going to use that to blend out the lower lash line. Now for in the one line I'm taking a pencil which is by Charlotte Tilbury. It has two sides. One of them is like this color that I'm using right now, kind of like a shimmery copper. And the other side is more like a dark brown with a warm undertone. It's really beautiful. I will put the name of this pencil in the one line. I believe the name is called Super Copper if I'm not mistaken. But it's really beautiful and it has become one of my favorite pencils because it just looks amazing. It makes my eye color stand out which I always like and... I don't know, I just really love it and I've been using it very often recently. So yeah, I would definitely recommend this one um, if you are searching for like a really beautiful, warm, brownish kind of pencil. And you can switch up between like two because it has two sides. I'm gonna take a tiny pencil brush using this highlighting color, which is perfect for today's eye look because this shade also has kind of like a golden and warm undertone. So it's perfect to compare with this eye look or combine, I don't know what the right word is. <laughs> and just blending this in the inner corner, it just gives you that kind of pop of light, which I really like. And then now I'm taking my favorite mascara, which is the Givenchy Disturbia Mascara. Have been absolutely loving this mascara. I have never really found like the perfect mascara, which really lifts my upper lashes, but this one does the job. And then now I'm taking my lashes from Anytude. This one is in the style Betty. Um, I'm going to use them using my tweezers and applying them right above the, not above, like right on top of the eyeliner. And then using my tweezer to kind of press it against the skin. If you struggle with applying fake lashes, I made a dedicated video where I show some tips and tricks on how to make it a lot more easier. So I will make sure to link that down in the description bar in case you want to see it and just become a little bit better at applying your lashes because I know it can be quite hard. And now during this quarantine, like it's the best time to practice makeup. So yeah, this is the end of the video. I really hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy. This is really helpful for my YouTube channel and I really appreciate it. And yeah, let me know what you want to see next. And I wish you all an amazing day and hopefully I will see you in the next one.